Hello everyone, my name is Elise and today I'm going to be taking you through a full body reformer Pilates workout. So all you need is your reformer and let's get started. So we're going to start with setting our springs for some footwork as well as some hip bridges. So that's going to be two red springs for me, that's two heavy springs. So pop those on, make sure your foot bar is all the way up and your head rest is all the way down. And then you can lie on down onto your carriage. Head comes onto the headrest, bring both feet onto the foot bar. And we'll start with a nice stretch, so just let your arms splay out by the side like a letter T. And we'll just start with a windscreen wiper, gently rocking your knees over to the right side, getting a nice rotation, twist through the lower back. Then gently exhale, bring those knees back through center, rock those knees over to the left. Feels so nice, nice stretch through that lower back and the spine, just gently going from side to side, windscreen wipering those knees. So then those shoulders rest nice and evenly on the carriage. Just enjoy this stretch. I'll be here for 10 more seconds. Just loosening up that lower back. Good, last five. Then we're gonna bring those legs back through center and get into some single leg footwork. We're gonna be starting on our right side. In three, two, and one. Bring those knees back through center. Arms come by your side from here. We're gonna bring our right heel onto the bar right in the middle of the bar, then lift your left leg into tabletop. We've got our neutral spine, so tailbone's nice and heavy on the carriage, lower ribs are resting down the carriage, and gently drawing in through your waist. From here, we're gonna take a nice inhale to prepare. Exhale, you're gonna drive that right leg long, press the carriage out, open the springs, inhale, bend the knee, draw the carriage in. Again, exhale, press the carriage out, open the springs, extend that right leg, inhale, bend the knee, slowly controlling that carriage back in. Good. Just pressing that carriage out and in, driving through that right heel. And as you exhale and press that carriage out, think about gently starting to engage the waist. Feel the belly button pulling in towards the carriage. Core starting to switch on. Nice, just relaxing the head, relaxing those shoulders down. Good, so to feel the cord and the glute working here. Really nice, keep those right toes flexed to the ceiling. We're gonna keep that left leg nice and still in tabletop. We're here for 10 more seconds. Then we're gonna to start to add in one hip bridge. Little combo coming up. In five, gonna park that carriage. In four, three, two, one. Next time, park the carriage, draw the carriage in. Keep the carriage nice and still. We're gonna to start to peel the spine up, tuck the tailbone. Peel the spine up off the carriage, driving through that heel. Lift those hips nice and high. Squeeze the glutes at the top. And start to slowly peel the spine back down onto the carriage. Upper back, mid back, lower back and tailbone. And go for one leg press. That's it, one leg press, one hip bridge. As that carriage comes in, keep it parked. Lift those hips nice and high. Whew. Glutes are already starting to fire up. We wanna try and keep that carriage in at the stopper, parked at the platform as we come into that one hip bridge. <sighs> nice. And really focus on peeling the spine up. One vertebrae at a time lifts, coming up onto those shoulders and then peeling the spine back down. <sighs> so good. Nice, in 10, we're gonna stick with just that hip bridge for that right leg. In five. Four, three, two, and one. Just that hip bridge, down and up. Lift the hips, peel the spine up as you exhale. Then inhale, lower. Really good. We're here for 15 seconds. We're gonna hold our hip bridge. We're driving through the back of those arms, supporting your hip bridge here. Use those arms. In five, we hold our hip bridge. In four, three, Two, one, lift the hips, hold. Let's go for the little pulses, down and up in that top range. Keep that carriage still. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one, slowly peeling back down. Go back, Tinky, that leg a little shake out. Ooh, that leg is nice and warm. We're gonna move straight onto the other side. So resetting, bring the left heel onto the foot bar. That right leg comes into tabletop from here. Arms are still long by your side. When you're ready, we exhale, press that carriage out, driving through that left heel. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, press away. Inhale, bend. 
Again, gently engaging through the abdominals as we press that carriage out, following that breath. Trying to get full extension through that left leg. Good work, team. Keeping that right leg nice and still. Probably enjoying a nice little break here. Nice in five. We add in that one hip bridge. In four. Park that carriage in three. Two. One, draw the carriage into park. Let's start to peel those hips up into your hip bridge. Lifting those hips nice and high, squeezing the glute. And start to slowly peel down upper back, mid back, lower back and tailbone touch down. Then big press out. Go, park the carriage. And again, one hip bridge, rolling up onto those shoulders and rolling back down. Really good. Little combo, keep that going. Trying to keep those hips nice and level as you roll up into that hip bridge. Imagine you have a plank of wood resting across those hips. Make sure that right hip isn't dropping as you lift. Ten more seconds, then we stick with just that hip bridge. Taking out that leg press in six. There in four, three, two, and one. Keep that carriage parked, just that hip bridge up and down. Really squeezing into that right glute, that left glute, sorry. And think about keep drawing that left glute towards your heel. It's gonna really help keep that carriage parked, activating the glute and the hamstring. Nice work, team. In six. We lift that bridge and we hold in five, four, three, two, and one. On the next one, lift and hold, little pulses. Up in that top range, pulse those hips down and up just for five, four, three, two, and one. Roll it down. Nice work, team. Give those legs a little windscreen wiper. Whew. Hope the lower body. Is nice and warm. Go from here, bring those knees back through center. We're gonna get the arms and core warm. So reach back, grabbing onto your short loops. We're gonna reach those arms straight up to the ceiling, palms facing towards your feet. From here, we're gonna draw tension onto those springs so the carriage comes away from the platform. Then lift one leg at a time into tabletop. Holding those arms nice and still, keep tension on those springs. Coming into a one leg extension. From here, extend your left leg long, point those toes, reach that leg nice and long, then bend the knee. Good, right leg extends and bends. So keeping tension on those straps as you extend and bend those legs, alternating from side to side. Really nice. Trying to reach that calf all the way down to the foot bar, give it a little tap. So holding tension on these straps is really gonna to start to activate those abdominals, keeping that neutral spine, lower ribs, resting down to the carriage. Don't let that back arch. Nice. And don't let those hands go behind the shoulders. Always keep them in front, keeping that carriage open. In five. We're going to start to add on. We're going to open those arms as we extend the leg. In three, two, and one. Next time you ex extend the leg, open the arms to the side like a letter T. Then lift the leg, close the arms. Extend the leg, open the arms, keeping tension on the springs, and then close. So just open those arms out to a letter T. The carriage is not moving. Keeping those hands in line with the shoulders as they open and close. So good. Inhale to extend the leg, open the arms. Exhale to close everything back through center. So good. You're here for 10. Then we're gonna open the arms. We're gonna keep both legs in tabletop in five, four, three, two, one, open the arms, keep the legs in tabletop. Let's go for little pulses into those straps, forward towards the footbar, little tiny pulses. Last six, five, four, three, 
four, three, two, and one. Lift those arms back up. Let the carriage come in and just pop those straps away. Good work, team. I want to hug those knees in. Give them a gentle little rock. Hopefully your full body's nice and warm by now. I know I'm sure starting to sweat. We're just going to sit up from here and have a quick spring change for some upper body work. So we're going to be on a blue spring. So that's half a spring or one blue spring for me. So pop on just one blue spring. And then I want you to come to kneel on your carriage facing towards me. So kneeling on your carriage, your leg closest to the shoulder post is going to be nice and close to those shoulder posts, nice and snug. And then your other leg is just going to step forward, bringing your toes up to that front corner of the carriage. So we're in a bit of a split lunge position. Grab onto your short loop closest to the front of your carriage, the way you're facing. Take that short loop in your hand closest to the shoulder post. And we're going to set up for a rotated press. So palm faces the floor, elbows up in line with your shoulder. From here, big exhale, we're going to press that arm towards the foot bar, rotating towards the foot bar with the upper body. Then inhale, return back through center. Exhale, rotate and press. Inhale, return. Good. So the eye gaze follows the hand as it presses towards that foot bar. Good, obliques working, core is working. And that leg that is resting down on the carriage, that leg's also working to stabilize here as well. Now, if it is a bit strong here with that short loop, you always have the option to drop down to that long loop. And then I'll make it a little bit lighter on that working arm. Beautiful. We're gonna to start to combo in one shoulder press in five. Good, there in three, two, one. Come back through center, turn the palm forward. One big press up to the ceiling, bend the elbow, put the palm to the floor, one rotated press. That's it, one rotated press, one shoulder press. Keep that chest up nice and high. Good, thinking nice and long through the crown of the head. Like I'm pulling you up from the crown of your head, staying nice and tall and keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Nice here for 10. And we're sticking with just that shoulder press. Last little burn. Keep that hand up in line with the shoulder. In four, just that shoulder press. In three, two, and one. Just that shoulder press, stay square through center. Press that arm up and down. You got it team, just here for 10. Use that exhale as you lift that arm. Last six, five. Oh, I've got the shakes. Last four, three, two, and one. Coming all the way in and down. Whew. Beautiful work, team. Pop that loop away. We're just going to turn to the left side and stepping forward to the left side of your carriage. So from here, we're going to be setting up for some arabesque lunges. So we're going to have our left toes in line with the front of your carriage and then stepping your right foot back into the shoulder post closest to you. Hands come to hips, stay nice and tall through the upper body. Good, relax those shoulders back and down. Good, from here, we're bending into that left leg. As you keep that right leg long, we hinge forward, coming into that arabesque lunge. Then drive that left heel, we stand all the way up. Try that again. Inhale, lunging down, that right leg stays long. Getting nice and low into that left side. Exhale, drive to the heel, standing tall. Whew, I'm already starting to sweat. I hope it's not just me. So warm, this beautiful morning sun coming in. That's it, team. Keep getting nice and low. Just run that nice light blue spring or half a spring, which means here we're really focusing on balance, stabilizing muscles through that left side and take it nice and slow and controlled on the way down and up. Good, if you want more, we can start to add in the arms. So next time you lunge down, can you reach those arms forward on the diagonal, get nice and low, then drive those arms back in line with your body as you stand. Inhale, lunge down, big reach. Exhale, sweep those arms back and stand tall. So that right arm is staying, that right leg, sorry, staying super long the whole time. All that weight's really going through that left side. So that glute, that quad, 
all really starting to work here. In 10 seconds, we start to add in one scooter at the bottom, adding more time under tension, there in five, four, three, two, and one. Next time you lunge down, stay down. From here, we're gonna bend that right knee, bend the elbows, draw that carriage in, extend the right leg, extend the arms, and stand all the way up. Good, try that again. Lunge down, we hold. That left leg stays still as you scooter that right leg in and out, stand all the way up. So good. Lunge and hold, one scooter. Those elbows bend in towards your ribs as you come into that one scooter. Squeeze in between those shoulder blades. Get a bit of work through the upper body here as well. So good. 10 more seconds in this combo. Then we finish with just that scooter. Nice, if you need, you can always use that foot bar for a bit of support here. In five we hold, in four, three, two, and one, lunge and hold. Just that scooter, in and out. You got it team, last 10, you can make it a little bit quicker. Keep hinging forward, stay low to that left side. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one, extend the legs, standing up, Woo. Give that leg a little shake out, my goodness, holy moly. That left glute is on fire. Awesome team from here, come into a bit of core. We're gonna kneel onto your carriage, facing towards your foot bar. Stay on that nice light blue spring. We're gonna set up for a bit of a long stretch variation. We're gonna stay on our knees, so have those toes touched up against your shoulder posts. Hands are about shoulder distance apart on your foot bar. Lovely, from here. We're gonna slide the carriage out, tuck your tailbone under, find our nice half plank. So tailbone is tucked under between the legs, hips are pressing towards the springs. Hold the lower body nice and still. Keep the arms long. From here, we're gonna slide the carriage out, hinging those shoulders back as far as you can, open the springs. Then exhale, pull those shoulder blades over the foot bar. Go try again. Inhale, we slide the carriage out as far as we can. Keep that tailbone tucked, exhale. Shoulders come over the foot bar. Notice how my lower body is not moving. It's just those shoulders hinging forward and back. So think about really tucking the tailbone, drawing belly button to spine, gently engaging through the core. The further out we can get that carriage, the harder it's going to be. Good, take it nice and slow. Again, we're on that light spring. So focus on slow, controlled movements. Beautiful. Good, we're gonna to start to add a bit of arm work here as well. Next time you pull the carriage in, hold, those shoulders over the foot bar. Let's go for one push up, bend those elbows nice and wide, bring the chest towards the foot bar. Press those arms nice and long, one long stretch. Slide the carriage out, draw the carriage in. Bend those elbows, drop the chest. Holding that carriage super still, you come into that one push up. Then make sure you keep breathing as you pull that carriage in, and as you press up out of that push up, you exhale. Those are the two hardest parts of the movement, so we use that exhale to help us here. Exhale on the exertion. Nice team, last 10 seconds here in this combo. Then we stick with just that push up. Whew, upper body on fire now. I am sweating. Last one, pull that carriage in. Just those push ups, down and up. Just getting that chest as low as you can, bend those elbows nice and wide. Keep that tailbone tucked, keep that carriage still. Last 10. Then we can get that chest a little bit lower. Last six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Nice work, team. Draw the carriage in, just sit those hips back to heels. Take a quick little child's pose here, reaching those arms along, 
over the foot bar. Take a few nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. So good team. Now, that's one side of the body done. It's time to even ourselves out. So when you're ready, reset in the spine. We're gonna turn around now to face the other side that we haven't done with the arms. So I'm gonna be turning away from you. So setting up for the other side, bring that leg closer to the shoulder post, right up against the shoulder post. Step the opposite foot forward to that top edge of the carriage, find that split lunge kneeling position. Then grab onto the short strap closest to that side. Take that in your hand closest to the shoulder post. Opposite hand comes to hip. Growing nice and tall through the spine, relax those shoulders down. Let's set up for our rotated press, palm facing the floor, elbow and hand in line with the shoulder. When you're ready, big X. How we rotate, extend that arm towards the foot bar, rotate the chest, inhale, bend the elbow, return back through center. Again, X, how big rotate, press, inhale, return. Really nice team. Again, if it is too strong at any point here, grabbing onto that long loop instead of the short loop to make it a little bit lighter for yourself. This is your workout. So pick the option that's gonna challenge you here. Nice, again, use that exhale as you press that arm towards the foot bar. Keep the eye gaze following the hand. Don't let that elbow drop. Keep it up nice and high in line with that shoulder. Make sure we're not hiking those shoulders up to the ears. Keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Nice, let's start to add in one shoulder press. Next time, hold, flip the palm forward. One big press up to the ceiling. Bend the elbow, palm faces the floor. One rotated press. That's it, rotator press, shoulder press. Keep that combo going. Whew, that arm is on fire, but you are so strong team. I know you've got it. 10 more seconds in this combo. Then just that shoulder press. Whew, full body is burning. In five, just that shoulder press. In four, three, two, and one. Just that shoulder press, keep that palm facing forward. Bend and extend that arm to the ceiling. Whew. Keep breathing through it. Here for just 10 seconds. You got a team. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop that arm down. Well done team, hang that loop up and carefully step forward off your carriage, coming to that right side this time. Awesome. Set up nice and tall, get those arms and legs a little shake out if you need. And let's set up for those arabesque lunges. So, this time right toes come in line with the front of your carriage. Step those left toes back into the shoulder block closest to you. Hands come onto your hips, relax those shoulders down nice and tall through the spine. And when you're ready, we keep that left leg long. We bend into that right leg, getting nice and low. We hinge forward, create that nice long arrow shape with our body, and then we stand all the way up, driving to that right heel. Good, again. Inhale, we lunge down, left leg stays long. Exhale, stand, squeeze into that right glute, pressing to that right heel. Good. Make sure we're keeping our core on here. So maintain our long, neutral spine. Good, I think belly button drawing gently in towards your spine. And making sure that right knee is staying stacked over that right ankle as we lunge down. We don't want, to drop that, want that knee dropping in or out. So really paying attention to the alignment, staying strong through the ankle. And we start to add in those arms. As we lunge, we reach those arms long overhead on that diagonal and sweep them back in line with the body as we stand. Good, inhale, lunge and sweep those arms forward. Exhale, sweep those arms back. So good, team. Second side's always a little bit harder. It's been working to stabilize on the other side. I know, my glute is burning here as well. Again, take it nice and slow. The slower you go, the harder it's going to be, but we're looking for stability, balance and control here with this light blue spring. Nice team. In five, we hold our lunge. We add in that one scooter at the top, at the bottom, sorry, in three, two, 
One, hold your lunge. This time that right leg stays still. We bend the left knee, draw the carriage in, squeeze those elbows back, extend the left leg, extend the arms, standing tall up out of that lunge. Try that again. Lunging down, we hold. One, scoot up, bend the left knee, extend the left leg, and coming all the way up. Whew. All those stabilizing muscles are now working in that right leg as we stay under tension for longer here. So good. You've got a team. We're in this combo for 10 more seconds. Then just that scooter at the bottom. There in five, four, three, two, and one. Next time you lunge down, we hold just that scooter with those arms. Keep dropping that chest, hinging forward from those hips, stabilizing through that right side. If you have the pace, last 10 here, you got it, team. Maybe sink a little bit lower. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Draw that carriage in. Whew. Give that leg a little shake out. Whew. Holy moly. Legs on fire. So good, team. We are almost there. We have one final exercise to finish class today. A little bit of ab work to go. So. We're gonna stay on that nice light half a spring, that blue spring. Again, just come to kneel in your carriage, facing towards your footbar. We're gonna come into some knee tucks from here. So hands come onto your footbar, again, shoulder distance apart. We're gonna bring our toes about halfway down your carriage here. If you're taller, maybe take them a bit further back towards your shoulder post, just so you can get full extension of your carriage. Then from here, you're gonna glide those legs back to come into your plank. So find your plank holding here. Stay strong to those arms, those, those shoulders are frozen over your wrists, over that, over that foot bar. From here, keep the upper body nice and still. We're just gonna bend the knees, draw the carriage in. Extend the legs, press the carriage out. Good, inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, press those legs out. Nice. So keep those shoulders frozen over that foot bar. Just bending and extending those legs. Nice. Keep lifting your core, think belly button to spine. Keep that nice, nice long neutral spine. So good. Now, if this is enough for you, feel free to stay here. Otherwise, we're gonna come into a bit of a bicycle knee tuck variation. So hold your plank on the next one. From here, you're gonna tuck your left knee into chest and we're coming to our bicycle. So as the carriage comes in, you bend your right leg, extend your left leg back, and then switch. Left knee bends, right leg extends, and switch. So a bit of a bicycle variation of your knee tuck. One leg bends, one leg extends. Oh my gosh, I am dripping sweat right now. Whew. One knee bends, one knee extends, just like a bicycle. Good. Keep those arms nice and strong. We're here for 10. Then we switch. There in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press that right leg back. Bring the left leg to meet it. Tuck that right knee into chest. Then you bend your left knee, extend your right. And switch. Bicycle those legs. Last bit of effort here, team. Then we're done. 10 seconds to go. Can you pick up the pace? You got it. Last six, you've got five, keep that core on. Last four, three, two, and one. Bring both feet down, draw the carriage in. Keep your hands on the foot bar, bring your feet flat onto the carriage, about halfway down the carriage. Let's just press those hips back, sinking your chest down. Nice. Have your feet about hips and apart. I'm actually dripping sweat right now. Oh, it's hot. Hope you all are sweating as much as I am. Good, keep the weight going back into your heels, back into the hips, legs are nice and long. Feel a nice stretch through the back of the legs here. Keep those hands on the foot bar. Nice, tailbones point up to the sky. We're just coming to an elephant stretch here. So keep the legs long, keep the weight into the heels. I'm gonna slide the carriage back slightly. The heels go behind the hips and draw the heels back under the hips here. Good, slide the heels back, lighting the carriage out, open the spring, 
and draw the carriage back in nice and slow. So keep that tailbone nice and high to the sky, sinking the chest down towards the knees, holding that fold forward. And then come into a bit of a twist here, so bring your right hand to the outside of your left ankle and keep that movement going. Keep the head heading nice and heavy. Good, sinking down, deeper into that stretch. Good, last five seconds here, then we'll switch. In four, three, two, and one, draw the carriage in, bring right hand back onto the foot bar. Left hand comes to the outside of your right ankle, twisting to that right side, and just hinge that carriage out and in. Keep that right arm nice and long. That's it, last five. Four, take a nice deep breath, last three, two, and one, park that carriage. Take one more fold forward, and then carefully you can step off to the front side of your carriage, so you're turning to face towards me, just standing nice and tall. We'll finish with one nice roll down, so if you hip distance apart, gently tuck the chin, rolling forward, drop the shoulders, soft bend through the knees, just rolling down through the spine. Let the head and the hands stay nice and heavy. You might want to rock side to side here. Maybe nod the head, yes. Shake the head, no. Release any tension in that upper body. And when you're ready, exhale as you press through those heels. Start to slowly, slowly restack the spine up over the pelvis. Reach those arms up. Take a nice deep inhale at the top. And then exhale. Blow all that air out. But that is us done for another workout. Thank you so much for joining me today, team. I hope you all enjoyed your workout and got as sweaty as I did. My goodness, I am actually dripping. But I hope you enjoyed it and I'm really excited to see you back here soon for some more workouts. So make sure you subscribe and stay up to date with all the latest workouts I'll be bringing you. Bye.